Well, hey everybody. We're back at the Queen Castle on another absolutely beautiful beekeeping day. And we're ready to take them to the next step. So if you remember the, the brick signals that I use along the line of the frames, which these two are, means all is well. Cross the frames means uh, there's something I need to do with those. Um, and the thing that I needed to do with this one that's crossways is I, I stole the queen out and I used her to split a nook that I just bought the other day. So now I know that that's a queenless colony. These frames, these, this queen castle is three frames and that's a great way to get started. Don't need a ton of resources bees wise, but the thing that you need to do is then you need to promptly move them to the next, next box next larger box. In my case, we're gonna put them in five frames. So I have brought out the uh, five frame deeps, nooks, and uh, because we only have two colonies to transfer, we'll, we'll steal resources from the queenless one. Um, but because we only have two to transfer, um, we'll be able to use the very same hive stand that I was on before. So drift and all that is uh, pretty, pretty low key there. You may see there's a lot of bees flying around because I haven't quite blocked off the entrance to Green Circle, but it's not the place where they were looking for it. So we'll go ahead and get started. First one we'll move over is Green Circle. So another nice thing about the Queen Castle is you can choose to work one chamber at a time. So here, opening up Green Circle. <clears throat> I gave them a little bit of light smoke already, but a smaller colony like this, huh, there's already a hive beetle in it. So we'll try to kill that hive beetle if we can. Um, and then I look at this frame, they've started to draw it. And so I, I hate to take that work away from them. Doesn't look like there's eggs or, or even anything in it yet. Um, but I, again, they, they've been working on it. Let's, let's leave it to them, right? Next frame here, it's got some weight to it. It's good nectar in there, good good larva. Uh, the larva's of course gotten older. There's some pollen. So I know it doesn't show up great on the, on the camera, but that's, oh, there's some cap stuff there. So that's, that's my new queen's cappings. This is the top of the frame on the bottom of the shot, but that's the new queen. And then you see the honey over here by my right thumb. So they're, they're motoring along. And this should be the queen that's, that's all black. Um, I see a lot of larva. She's, she's doing very well. So that tells me with the capped, cap larva that this, the, the time to move these is today. Oh, there's the queen right there. She's right there off the, uh, I'm sorry, I'm off the end of my thumb. She's just walking around. So she's doing her thing. I'm not going to mark her. Uh, I don't want to mark her yet. Not, well, not that I won't ever, but not today. All right, so that's a simple transfer of that. Then the last frame that's in the box today. It's another one. Um, Food and brood. So there's there's nothing additional that they need to be successful this moment in time. Food, brood, they're uh, they're doing well. So what I'll do is I'll put my lid on. And then um, then we've got to go to work on yellow stripes. So yellow stripes might be a little bit more of a challenge logistically only because um, I need to put the yellow nook where yellow stripes is sitting. So actually what I think I'll do for, for this moment, uh, besides swish some bees, is, sorry bee, you know, it's inevitable. You're going to squish some bees. You don't want to. So I think what we'll do, I brought a yellow colored nucleus box. And my hope there was 
the yellow helps the yellow orient. So I think what we'll do is try to find an angle that you can see. I, I try to show you everything I do. All right, so now Now we've got the yellow box, and so what we'll, what we'll, we'll, what we'll want to do and what we'll need to do is we'll turn yellow to face uh, in the same way that yellow stripes is facing now, but we'll, we'll keep this for now while we are transferring the hive. I did bring a couple empty frames. Should we need them? All right, now for yellow stripes, still more bees in yellow stripes, which is, uh, which is fine. Uh, a lot of bees in there. And we'll start here with the white frame. They were doing a lot more drawing than the other one was. And uh, it was interesting, all three of these chambers were successful, but they were all three on a different trajectory. All right, because you see how, how drawn out this, this was blank when it went in a couple weeks ago. And they're starting to fill the cells a little bit with nectar. <clears throat> They've got this side drawn pretty good. So I like that, they're, uh, they're poised for a breakthrough. So again, we'll just, Glance for the queen. This queen was a little bit more caramel colored, car caramel, 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 whatever, you know. This, this frame is heavy, heavy. Good brood pattern there. Let me show you here. That brood pattern just really, really packing. So, let's see if the queen is here. On this frame, this one one disadvantage to these, uh, you see that burr comb on the bottom. Um, because they had the room, they drew that. Oh, there's the queen. That's a that's a good looking queen. Nice caramel color. Again, not going to mark her today. Um, <clears throat> because they had the room for this burr comb, they drew it, and that's just as simple as popping it off and I, I left that that room on purpose in the queen castle in case i had a swarm cell that was drawn down below the frames as this burr comb was i didn't want to squish a queen cell putting it into the castle so all right so we verified queen present queen's looking really good on the brood pattern we've got that burr comb off wow I tell you, um, these first year just getting going queens are uh, very industrious. Some folks are moving to a management technique of annual requeening. Can't say they're wrong. Seeing what these queens will do, being brand new, uh, they get after it. They got a lot of energy. They're they haven't been exposed to a lot of the toxins that are out in the world yet. Um, a little more larva in here. Some food. They got food, they got brood. Um, because they are a little bit larger, they could probably stand, honestly stand some feeding, but, uh, but for now, we're just gonna leave as is. All right, last, uh, last one here is, is pink triangle. This was the one, of course, that I robbed the queen from. So uh, there should be some brood in here. This was one where they never, they never really got after this blank frame. I mean, that's factory, right? So no big deal there. They they serve their purpose for us, for sure. Now this is a heavy food frame. A lot of nectar in there. You maybe don't see but it's heavy. So this will go right into yellow stripes. 
because they're the ones that needed the food the most. This frame's got a little bit of weight to it, mostly pollen, a little bit of nectar. Um, if you see that, that shiny nectar. Um, so this one will go into uh, former green uh, green circle. So now what we have is we have four four good frames in each colony, and that's why I brought the extra frames. They're not perfect. They're not wonderful. In fact, they're a little bit burry themselves. I'm going to pop that off. That's just fix the problems when you see the problems. Otherwise, the problems won't go away. So we'll uh, tear that burr comb off there. This is some good looking comb, though. Not too dark. All right. Now, as far as that goes, what was used to be green circle is done. And then <clears throat> what we can do now green circle is going to stay where it's at so we can move the whole count the whole um, castle So you, you may have noticed, or you may not have been able to pick it up. Um, I just shook all the uh, bees that were still in yellow stripes. I shook them to the front of green circle. Give them a little bit of a quicker population boost. Now here, yellow stripes. is back to where Yellow Stripes was. Uh, yellow Stripes needs a frame. This frame's not great, but it'll give the bees something to work on. And then they're gonna get the migratory cover. And there it is. Um, so the queen castle just netted me two complete hives and the resources for splitting another nucleus colony. So if you want to get down to dollars and cents, um, I paid 185 for this nucleus colony and that was a very fair price. Um, these resources were free, you know, I built the boxes, but whatever, even if you pay for the boxes, uh, you've saved the equivalent between the queen that I didn't have to buy to split and the two new colonies I have today. Uh, that's about $400 American, which is uh, certainly nothing to sneeze at. So anyway, uh, just another video of, of how to do it and what I did. I'm not an expert by any means, but uh, just a guy that likes to try different things and is not afraid if it doesn't work. Uh, if it doesn't work, you're not out of anything. So Hope that gives you some ideas on how to grow your own bee yard, and I hope you found this useful, and thanks for watching.